हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम इन फार्मास्यूटिकल इन ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री मीन्स फार्मास्यूटिकल केमिस्ट्री फर्स्ट माय सेल्फ लेक्चरर मिसेस उर्मिला रविंद्र गवड़े एम फार्म इन क्वालिटी एश्योरेंस एंड लेक्चरर इन के के वाग इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ फार्मसी चांदोरे टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डील्स विथ आइडेंटिफिकेशन टेस्ट एक्सपेरिमेंट नंबर ट्वेंटी टू टाइटल ऑफ द एक्सपेरिमेंट टू परफॉर्म एंड रिपोर्ट आइडेंटिफिकेशन टेस्ट ऑन गिवन सैम्पल ऑफ सोडियम एसिटेट एज पर इंडियन फार्माकोपिया लर्निंग ऑब्जेक्टिव आफ्टर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो स्टूडेंट विल एबल टू लर्न इंटलेक्चुअल स्किल मीन्स टू अंडरस्टैंड द कंसेप्ट ऑफ एक्सपेरिमेंट मोटर स्किल टू आइडेंटिफाई द फिजिकल प्रॉपर्टी टू ऑब्जर्व द फिजिकल सोल्यूबिलिटी इन वॉटर एंड डिफरेंट सॉल्वेंट टू ऑब्जर्व द प्रेसिपिटेशन फॉर्म इन द टेस्ट सोल्यूशन सो लेट स्टार्ट विथ कंसेप्ट प्रपोजिशन फर्स्ट ऑर्गेनोलेप्टिक डिस्क्रिप्शन इट इज द इन्फॉर्मेशन इन रिस्पेक्ट ऑफ नेचर ओडर टेस्ट ऑफ द ड्रग प्रपोजिशन टू सोल्यूबिलिटी दैट मीन्स द सोल्यूबिलिटी ऑफ द कंपाउंड इज इंडिकेटेड बाय डिस्क्रिप्टिव टर्म्स एंड विच आर ओनली इंटेंडेड टू अप्लाई एट ट्वेंटी डिग्री सेल्सियस टू थर्टी डिग्री सेल्सियस दीज आर द डिस्क्रिप्टिव टर्म एंड दिस इज द अप्रोक्सिमेट वॉल्यूम ऑफ द सॉल्वेंट इन मिली लीटर फॉर वन ग्राम ऑफ सोल्यूट Proposition three: Identification test. These are the tests to verify that the article being examined in is in accordance with the label on the container. That means failure of an article taken from the label container to meet the requirement of prescribed identification test indicated that the article may be mislabeled or substituted. And these identification tests are not necessarily sufficient to establish. absolute proof of identity proposition 4 pharmaceutical category its pharmaceutical category is pharmaceutical aid that means it is used for peritoneal dialysis fluid general concept structure first of all we have to perform description of the drug that means it involves its nature color odor and the taste the insolubility in different solvent identification test as per Indian Pharmacopoeia, and after performing all these tests, we got the whether the sample complies or does not complies the test as per Indian Pharmacopoeia. So let's start with apparatus. Glassware required are test tube and graduated pipette. Then chemicals: alcohol ninety five percent, sodium acetate fifteen percent, potassium carbonate, potassium antimonate solution one. molar acetic acid magnesium uranyl acetate oxalic acid and dilute ammonia for actual practical we move towards laboratory here student in our pharmaceutical chemistry laboratory uh, let's start with identification test today's our aim is identification test for sodium acid so this is our powder this is crystalline white colored odorless compound now let's start with solubility the solubility in water for that we have to take sample approximately 0.2 to 0.3 g then add water shake it vigorously and check the solubility given sample is freely soluble in water now next test check the solubility in 95% ethanol Again, take sample zero point three to zero point four gram, and add ninety five percent ethanol and check solution. In ethanol, it is soluble. Now, identification test. Take. our sample and add equivalent quantity of oxalic acid and now warm this solution and check the observation hmm on heating there is formation of acidic vapors and with the smell of acetic acid Next test. Take 
वन ग्राम ऑफ सैंपल देन एंड वन एम एल ऑफ सल्फरिक एसिड Now we have to heat this solution on burner and uh, check its gas. On heating, ethyl uh, acetate odor is recognized. Zero point one gram of sample. Add two ml of water. And add two ml of fifteen percent wet by volume of potassium chromate solution. Now we have to heat this solution. No precipitate is produced. After heating, add 4 ml of freshly prepared potassium antimonate solution. You have to take 4 ml of this potassium antimonate solution. Again, boil this solution. A dense white precipitate is produced on heating. Now, next test we have to acidify the solution containing our compound with the one molar acetic acid. For that, we have to take sample, then add one molar of acetic acid for acidifying. Then add Excess of magnesium uranium sulfate. After addition of excess of magnesium uranium sulfate, we got yellow yellow powder, yellow precipitate. Dissolve 30 milligram of sample into 3 ml of water. This is 3 ml water and add successively 0.25 ml of dilute ammonia solution. Check it properly and now get this solution till observation.
now heat this solution the solution slowly changes to blue color and within few minutes it is converted into blue color precipitate it is slowly converted into pale blue color and within few minutes it is completed reaction after completion of reaction it is converted into blue color precipitate now after performing the practical we move towards observation table first is description nature of the compound crystalline powder color white or colorless and odor is odorless that means it complies the test as per ip solubility behavior in water it is freely soluble and in alcohol it is insoluble that means it complies the test as per ip identification test which are already performed test a observation is a dense white precipitate is produced that means it complies the test as per ip test b a yellow crystalline precipitate is produced that means it complies the test as per ip test c acidic vapors of characteristic odor is liberated and this odor is of ethyl acetate that means it complies the test as per ip test d sweet odor of ethyl acetate is liberated that means it complies the test as per ip and test e a dark blue precipitate is produced that means it complies the test as per ip result the given sample of sodium acetate complies the test a b c d and e for the identification test as per ip sodium acetate that means CH3COONA that gives CH3COO minus and Na plus ion. Pharmaceutical category of sodium acetate is pharmaceutical aid that means it is used for peritoneal dialysis fluid. Thank you dear student for attending and listening the session. Thank you.